So here on cage number two, day two of the IMF 2021 World Championships. We have Mexico taking on Kazakhstan, and you can hear, I assume you can hear behind me because they're making some noise, the Mexican team cheering on their man, Jafet Manzo. He'll be taking on the guy in the cage right now, Yulan Kabdulov. Abdulov in the blue corner, Manzo in the red, and again. Mexico just bringing some energy and love to this tournament. Right from the start, right from registration day, they were signing up, doing all the boring stuff, the paperwork, the documents, the medical checks, uh, just burst into song. Set the uh, the hotel <laughs> into <laughs> an absolute frenzy of love and joy as this tournament started. The real highlight of why these tournaments are just so good. And there you go, you can hear. There he is, Jaffet Manzo, and his teammates cheering him on. So here, cage number two. This will be a men's strawweight contest. Yur Yulan. Kabdulov from Kazakhstan in the blue corner takes on Jafet Manzo from Mexico in the red. Me, Brian Lacey here all day long. Blessed to be here calling the action for day two of the IMAF 2021 World Championship. And off we go. Jafet Manzo taking the center of the cage early. Yer Lunan has had some good experience on the IMAF already. All of his experience is under IMAF. He has a record of six and five amateur contests. Particularly well in the last World Championships. Won two, five, including one by first round flying triangle. And that was up against Hiraz Kakaev. We then beat Adam Hamkoev by decision, a unanimous decision in the second round, only to. Uh, Lose the third round to Shamil Mag Magomed Gajiev. Certainly an evolving fighter. And as far as Kazakhstan, they have brought an absolutely huge team here. Lovely little combination there. Straight shots then with the uppercut. And again, same combination. And you see Jaffet looking to respond. Covering up well, though, the Mexican. Stepping forward. The movement of that. Uh, Yulan. Kabdulov. Very nice. Just fluid. Really. Feels his way around the cage. Keeps plenty of space open, so he's got an exit. Should he need it after a combination? There's a real intensity about Jaffet Manzo. You can feel it, it's palpable. He's uh, got that Mexican spirit running through, coursing through those veins. Oof, nice outside kick to the thigh there. Oh, nice combination again there from Kabdulov. Straight shot upstairs, nice little dig to the body to finish it off. Now you see Kabdulov, the one cutting off the cage. He switched it around. He's taking center of the cage. And again, that tournament experience really does come through. And it is, it's not a tangible asset. It's not something that you can uh, really highlight. But you can see it within fighters that have had this experience, that have competed on the IMAF tournaments before. And oh, look at that takedown. That takedown was exquisite. The drop, the level change. And when you look back at that, and I wish I could get a replay of it. It's the level he dropped to. He's not even dropping to the hips. He's dropping so low and then driving through right to the uh, the shins, the ankles. The point of the body where you can use the least amount of effort to make the most amount of difference. There we go, round one in the books. And yesterday really was a special day. Everybody had waited so long for this tournament to start. Everybody had been talking about the amount of countries, the participation, the names returning to try and defend their titles, to claim titles. 
We've got over 421 athletes from 56 different nations, I believe. And yesterday was special, but today, today just feels like it's gone up another notch. The talent, these brackets, they had to sit it out yesterday. The, uh, the anticipation they've had as they've watched their teammates compete, the highs and lows. But now it's their chance and they really are grasping it with both hands and this is a, a very technical fun fight Kabdulov finishing that fight with an excellent takedown finishing that round I should say with an excellent takedown Jafet Manzo I'm sure will be looking and more aware of that takedown entry but looking to make a mark of his own as we step into round number two here Manzo from Mexico in the red corner taking on Kabdulov from Kazakhstan in the blue corner. Oh! Again, Kabdulov, his choice of shot and combination is very, very nice. Works the body as well as the head, doesn't just head hunt. Again, just out of range as Kabdulov then steps in. Nice one, two, good defensive covering up coming from Jaffet. Nice inside leg kick, you heard that. That was clean connection right on the inside, just under the thigh there. And now it's Jaffet who engages with the clinch. Good head pressure, Kabdulov trying to make space, work his way out, and he does so. Oh, that was a heavy right hand, Kabdulov stepped in. The overhand right connected, Jaffa ate it, but certainly felt it. And there's still that intensity in the eyes of Jaffa Manzo, but the output is certainly reduced. And again, this tournament style and this platform, it's a huge stage for these young men and women to step into. So you're not just managing, dealing with the world-class opponents, but also the adrenaline that comes from suddenly being under the spotlight, from seeing the cameras, seeing the lights, seeing the big screen. Nice entry there from Jaffet, though. And it's good work, good little adjustments as well. He's the one going first with the take now. He did it earlier in the round, and now he's done it towards the end. And at the end of the first round, we saw Kabdulov really put his mark on that round with a beautiful takedown. And Manzo now mixing him up himself. Ooh, will we see another flying triangle? You saw the right leg just coming up there. Kabdulov, he won the first round of the 2019, or oh sorry, 2020 World Championships. European Championships, I, I apologize. Oh, he went for it, he went for it. Heard the 10 second clacker and just thought, let's go for it from that. He's taken his opponent down, nice ankle trip and finishes on top. He's a fun fighter to watch. He comes back nodding his head. And again, that's just, very uh, showing that experience I mean that's a high risk move if you're early on in the fight say you're up against the cage and you try a flying triangle that doesn't come off with three minutes left in the round you can then find yourself on bottom trying to work your way back to your feet but he heard that 10 second clacker for the end of the round and for that that takes takes the risk to reward ratio much further down so off he went, through the flying triangle up, didn't sustain it, but as he went down to the mat, kept hold of the right hand, sorry, the left hand ankle of Ma Manzo and took him down, ending the round on top once again. In the Kazakhstan corner, I'm just watching them, they're right in front of me. And they look like they're looking for combinations in and out. Throw hard, find an exit, change the angle. 
from Manzo though. He's got to keep pushing through. This is a real tough, tough first round for him. He has not lost the fire in the eyes one bit. And the Mexican teammates of his have not, not lost their voice either. Still cheering him on. Manzo looking early for this takedown. Oh, nice knee there from uh, Kabdulov. Controlled the right hand wrist. Pushed back his opponent, but just used that wrist to open up the midsection. Drove the knee right into the midsection. Into that solar plexus. Nice movement there from Manzo, though, on the feet. Oh, little trip there. And suddenly Manzo finds himself on the mat. The, on his back in the center of the cage. Let's see Manzo if he's got anything off his back here against the Kazakhstan fighter. Retaining full guard. Now he's separated the legs. Let's see if he looks to find an angle. Make a move. The referee seen enough, stands them back to their feet. And off we go again. Oh, now the clock has certainly ticked down. Oh, that straight shot clean. Manzo can take a punch, though. My goodness. He can throw one, too. That right hand, if that connected, that might have caused some problems with Kabdalov. Still stepping forward, just missed with the uppercut. Now defending the takedown is Manzo, but look at that. Again, the low entry from Kabdulov. Raised his opponent up and then used the outside trip to finally fell his man. Seconds ticking away here. Referee may stand and back up. We saw Manzo trying to find a way to make something happen on that left hand side. The Kazakhstan corner just calling for it. just some work. Just keep busy. Ten seconds to go. You can see this round out, this fight out. Without taking any damage or unnecessary shots before potentially you move through to the next round all love all respect to young athletes two people on a journey it does not start and end here this is all about part of the journey those lessons and the mexican team raising their man up maybe he feels like he's done enough kabdulov receives that kazakhstan flag Will that be the flag flying high when we go to our decision? Let's find out. Let's hand it to Mr. Ricky Wright. Ladies and gentlemen, over on cage two, your winner by unanimous decision, representing Kazakhstan in the blue corner, Yevlan Kabdulov. So there we have it, Yevlan Kabdulov moves forward in this round. A fun fight, really showing. Now he's growing every single tournament. And that will be a, uh, a victory that he will look back fondly upon. But more work to do as he moves forward in this men's strawweight bracket. 